hey you guys welcome back to another video and today we are doing these um, as you've seen on my thumbnail these uh, pink and yellow French uh, set kind of like a summer set because I added some cherries um, but here I'm trying out uh, for the first time the bomb nails acrylic and the number 14 brush that she just came out with to be honest with you i had to switch out my brush it was working okay but it's not as thin um as i like it to be it was kind of like the bristles were were it had a lot of bristles basically so i was like okay i i need something a little thinner just to get in that cuticle area um so I did this finger with um, her brush, but I had to switch it to my Young Nails. I believe it's the, um, it's a number 12, um, but I can't remember the name. I'll, I'll link it down below. And uh, yeah, so I will be doing my whole application with my number 12 brush from Young Nails and I'll um, move on to the next step.
after my application was done, I went ahead and uh, removed all the like the sticky layer from all the nails with a hand file. This is just because I worked with um, odorless monomer. But now I'm using a extra fine, slim, tapered bit just to seal the uh, seal the cuticle. After that, I do go in with an extra fine, large barrel bit. It's um, I believe the brand is Panna for both of them so once I do that I do like to hand file I'll show you how I do that in my next step Now I usually don't like to use carbide bits um, to file my nail sets, but lately I've been really liking the extra fine bits. It just cuts my uh, time in half when I need to debulk just a little bit off the nails um, in case I have some bumps and lumps um, during my application. So here I'm using my 150-180 grit file. I just feel more comfortable hand filing for like the finishing, kind of, kind of like the finishing filing um, for my sets. I do like to surface file before I go into my sidewalls and my free edge. I just like my shape to be super crisp and I just, maybe I'm crazy, but I just like to do it at the end so it's just like fresh I don't know it's just weird I just like to do it at the end and I do use the 100 uh, zebra file from not polish but um, you can also use the coarse just uh, sometimes I'm a little afraid to file too much and since this is a tapered square shape I have been experiencing sometimes that with the 8080 file if i'm trying to do this um, tapered square shape i sometimes end up filing a little too much and then i just have to turn them into coffins and i'm like well i didn't want that so i uh, work between the 100 grit and the 180 but um, for just this time i'm doing the 100 grit and uh, they turned out okay i think after I um, go ahead and uh, do my sidewalls and my free edge, I am going to buff out the nails like you see me doing here. And these are the Kiara Sky 80 100 grit buffers. These are so, so good. I just fell in love with them. And wow, I mean, I've had so many buffers and just this one has been my favorite. So dusting off the nails and then just sprayed some alcohol just to get all that debris out. And I'm going to start using my um, yellow art liner. This is from a set I got on um, off Amazon. And honestly, I, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with my French, but I'm just trying to practice it as much as I can because I know it's like, It'll never go away. This has been the same thing like from the 90s till now. So there's no way out of it. You just have to find your method to do it. So here I'll be doing all the nails. I'll be doing the smile line to the best of my ability and then just fill it in.
Now I did apply two coats of this yellow shade and I cured each coat for a whole minute and now I'm putting on some uh, glossy top coat from Not Polish. This is like my absolute favorite uh, top coat in gloss or matte. So I'll be doing this to all the nails and then before curing I do put the cherry charms on the nails but to be honest with you this I did this just because it's YouTube. I would not do this in a normal set. I would cure them first, kind of take the shine off the surface and then put some uh, adhesive, like the Zule adhesive, some bling adhesive and put the charms on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.